watching CNN News 18. I'm Akanksha Swaroop. We are getting in breaking inputs coming in from Bengal. In fact, we are learning that the Bharatiya Janata Party is currently gunning for the Chief Minister of Bengal, Mamta Banerjee. It has tweeted out a video of a TMC minister claiming that West Bengal Minister Akhil Giri was threatening a lady forest officer because she was performing her duty to remove illegal encroachment in forest areas. TMC has condemned minister's behaviour. The BJP is now uh, training its guns at the TMC, calling it a Talibani mindset. That is the big charge coming in from the uh, BJP towards the Trinamool Congress. Let's also listen in to what Shahzad Poonawala of the BJP has to say. TMC means Talibani mindset and culture. This has been proven by the West Bengal minister, somebody who is very close to Mamta Banerjee, Akhil Giri, who has threatened and tried to subvert the work being done by the forest officer who was trying to remove encroachments. And in fact, he has threatened her and told her that if you poke your nose, then you will be given a punishment. You will be beaten up by sticks. Cuss words were used against this lady officer. Today, Mohua Moitra, Sagarika Ghosh, Mamta Didi and other leaders in the India Alliance, Rahul Gandhi, Priyanka Vadra, why aren't they taking a position? Adhir Ranjan Chaudhary used to take position on this, but today none of the Samidhan Bachao, Ladki Hu Lad Sakti Hu Brigade is out to demand the resignation of this minister. Kamalika Sen Gupta is joining me on the phone line. Kamalika, it's not the first time that uh, the TMC has been labelled as Talibani in their mindset, especially when it comes to uh, women. Uh, do share with us what exactly happened and uh, why the BJP is now attacking this minister. This is in uh, Pur Minnapur. This thing has happened uh, where they were trying to encroach. Uh, they were encroachment, and according to the direction of Mamata Banerjee, she was uh, this lady officer. She was uh, trying to remove the illegal encroachment there. That's the side that is coming from the sources close to this officer and 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 from the one portion of the administration. That point of time, the minister and also some local people out there, they had a heated discussion with her. And here, the minister uh, in this viral video, which has gone viral and which has been tweeted by the BJP, it is seen that the minister ha is saying that uh, she will not be able to stay more than eight to ten days. She knows uh, he's a she's a government worker and she should bow down her head. She uh, he also said that she's going to stay here in seven to ten days. She will see that how she will she stays out there, and these are certain derogatory remarks which was made by this um, uh, minister, which is seen in the video. The right, video is not right. Verified. Kamalika, thank you for in fact sharing all those inputs. Stay with us. I'm also joined in by Shahzad Punawala of the Bharatiya Janata Party. Shahzad, uh, the way we can see this minister in fact bulldozing his way and uh, the kind of disrespect that's being meted out to the lady officer goes on to say that uh, it's not just about bullying that officer, but there's more than what meets the eyes. Is there also uh, any vested interest of the TMC in this entire matter? TMC today means Talibani mindset and culture and it means too much corruption. And therefore, this minister who is neck deep in corruption and he has already made some objectionable comments about Draupadi Murmuji in the past, he not only has threatened but he has given life threat to the forest officer who is a woman officer who was doing her job of removing encroachments. If you see the translation put out by me of the statements, he has said you will not return home. You see, if you poke your nose, we will make sure in one week you are taken care of. I will get you beaten up with sticks. So he has used cuss words also. Mm -hmm. So today my demand from BJP's end on the channel is that will Mamta Banerjee sack this serial offender? And you know, there is a lady called Sagarika Goshi. Every day she gives bites. So maybe she can give a bite or two on this. Mahua Moitra also speaks up very for vociferously for women's issues. I think Priyanka Vadra has a campaign slogan called Ladki Hoon, Lad Sakti Hoon. So if they believe in Ma Mati Manush, then they must immediately demand the sacking of this person. And they must tell us that whether now this person will be booked by Mamta Banerjee government or whether it will be hidden. Like Sandesh Khali, they were defending Shah Jah and they defended Tajmul also in Uttar Dinajpur. Mm, mm. Perhaps for some concerns, they will defend this uh, serial offender. Uh, Kunal Ghosh of the TMC is saying that the CPM and the BJP have no right to, in fact, uh, uh, question us when it comes to women. They have done much uglier things. Is that the best Kunal Ghosh can do? I mean, this low level of what about me? I mean, today a forest officer who is implementing law and constitution has been threatened by Akhil Giri 
your slogan is ma mati manos you say that you are the only chief minister or the woman chief minister in the country and you are you are giving this explanation excuse i think that immediately the courts are watching i would request supreme court high court he is a powerful minister if he is abusing a lady officer from discharging his her duty mm. and the dnc government has a past record of standing with criminals and rapists like shaja so what will be the safety of this lady officer and therefore i request to your channels that all the mighty judges also must take so much of cognizance but having said that i think the first onus is on mamta didi whether she will sack this man or not and i will wait for sagarika ghosh's video bite to come out uh, she right. can perhaps but but shizad you know the question also now that uh, crops up is that if as you rightly pointed out that she is known to be a very strong lady officer if We, uh, lady officers in the state are not safe one cannot really think uh, what is going to be the plight of the ordinary women the common women over there and that is a question i'm going to also in fact pose to kamalika because we've lost that phone line with shazad but kamalika when you look at the bjp charge it is about the talibani mindset of the trinamool congress having said that if that's the behavior that such strong uh, dynamic administrative female officers are being meted out what happens to women uh, who are from the lower strata of the society in bengal yeah that's definitely a question but let me tell you the trinamool congress has condemned this incident kunal ghosh has condemned it also shantanu sen he has said that he does not their party does not in any way endorse it and party might take in steps against akhil giri but the question is the way he is a minister he represents trinamool congress trinamool congress has to take the brunt and and the and the fact that whatever he said is absolutely unpardonable All he has right. almost threatened the woman officer and it is a question that if this happens to a woman officer what is the plight of the common woman my apologies kamalika Bengal. in fact i'm also joined in by mr shantanu sen of the tmc mr sen um, a lot of answering to be done by the trinamool congress the first and foremost question is why hasn't any action been taken against akhil giri First of all, Trinamool Congress has categorically said that we don't endorse such type of statement. We strongly condemn it. But at the same time, we must say that opposition, especially the CPIM and BJP, they don't have any moral right to condemn because several CPIM leaders, including late Binoy Kumar, late uh, Anil Bosu, and Sushanta Ghosh, and so many. they have used so many unparliamentary words against the women and especially the women chief minister of our state so for the bjp is concerned starting from prime minister who ridiculed mamta banerjee the only lady chief minister of the country saying didi or didi but mr sen the Abhi fact Ch that you have just now now you know uh, countered this entire discussion by you know making this about the bjp or the cpm or or the entire opposition goes on to say that the, the attitude of the tmc is uh, absolutely unapologetic uh, just verbal condemnation is mere tokenism when you are asking me a question if you don't allow me to answer you ought to no but you have just verbally said answer. that we condemn what is the action that has been taken that is my question which has not been answered sir how much time has passed since akhil giri has made such statement you must recall when akhil giri made some statement regarding our president of the country our chief minister came forward and he, he apologized but on the contrary have you ever seen the prime minister himself or home minister himself or the national